This video will show you how to create a chart in Power BI from scratch. Ideally you don't want to be doing that, that's um, going to take you a lot of time in formatting, that kind of thing. Um, what you really want to do is, as explained in another video, is update your, uh, your data set with the latest data. If you're making a, a quarterly report, add the new data for the next quarter. Uh, refresh up here, or you can just right click on the little dots here and refresh individual data sets, and that should refresh all the data here. And you'll have the new, uh, the new value, the new values, and you can add uh, as long as you add the quarter, which is pretty simple. I'll explain that in a second. Um, that's going to be the simplest way of doing things. Um, another way you can do it quite quickly without losing the formatting. Um, for example, this chart here is created using the funding uh, data set. Uh, if we click on the chart, you can see we've got amount, number of deals, and quarter uh, selected. Uh, let's say I want to use data from this data set here, which is investors. Um, quick way of doing that um, would be just to swap out the the uh, the fields you have here with the fields from a different data set. Um, this data set is pretty much identical to funding. The only reason I've created it is because, uh, as mentioned in another video, when you separate the investors, it kind of separates all the amounts as well, and it doubles up. So it's kind of useless for anything else other than making a chart about investors. But just to quickly show you, um, these amounts are the same. So if I just drag amounts in there, delete the previous one. Do the same thing with quarter, in fact, at the top. Delete the previous one. Uh, number of deals. And delete the previous one. Um, with the exception of this line chart here, which for some reason has lost its color. That's pretty easy just to change in the, in the formatting section. Um, it's all pretty much in the same format. Um, so it's just a nice way to kind of use what you've got before and a different data set to make the same chart. Uh, obviously you're going to want to use your filters and that kind of thing, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, but if you're going to want to create it from scratch for whatever reason, uh, yeah, brand new data set, brand new type of chart, um, who knows what reason you want to create it from scratch, I'll show you how to do that. And hopefully it will give you an insight as to how these charts are put together. So I'll select my chart this is a line and stacked column chart uh, we're going to use these columns here to represent the amount for the deals and the line is going to represent the number of deals um, all this here I use is just a template um, I did originally plan to create the whole presentation in uh, in Power BI but it proved difficult for several reasons maybe you can work out how to do that might be simpler then you've got everything here ready to go um, for, for your report, uh, but for now I'm copying it into into uh, into PowerPoint. Certain things you can't really do, like little tables, are not very straightforward. Um, and you could import them into here just as easily as you could using the uh, image insert an image here. But for now I'm just using a PowerPoint template. It's just a bit easier. Um, so we've got this chart. And what we do is try and replicate the chart I just deleted. So I'm going to go back to the funding uh, database uh, and bring in those uh, those values. So you can just take the the field, <coughs> excuse me, take that uh, field and just throw it straight in there, and it'll uh, it'll appear as it does here in uh, column values on the on the fields tab here. Um, so you can take you can take your fields and just put them where you want them. Like that, or you can drag them straight into the chart, and it seems to know more or less where you want it. Ah, so I've done that, and it, it didn't know where I wanted it. It's added it to the values again. I want that as a line value, so I'll just move it down there and make it a line. So now we've kind of got a chart. It's pretty ugly. Um, colors are all wrong. We got all this sort of superfluous information here. Loads of quarters, making the thing a bit unreadable. So now we're going to filter it down and, and format it. So the first thing I think we'll do is, is look at the filters. Um, 
filters have all been automatically added here visual level filters um, that just affects this visual here what you could do if you've got several different several different um, visuals in one page uh, you can actually I'll bring it down you can't do that but you can just add your filters to page level and that will apply so let's say you've got two charts for a country for example or for one quarter who knows you could put it into page level and that will apply to all of your filters uh, here not a big deal because we've only got one chart um, so I'm just going to play with it here um, also report level as well you could you could you could make it apply to the whole thing if you wanted to so considering that this uh, this report is just about uh, virtual reality deals that's what I'm looking at here um, using this as an example um, I could put the quarters into report level just to make sure that in no in none of these uh, pages we're looking at data from any other period other than 2015 onwards we could do that but I'll just show you in visual because that's what we're dealing with at the moment um, and I'm just going to select from 2015 quarter one all the way down to 2017 quarter two where we are now and now you can see it's a bit more uh, a bit more of a easy on the eye chart um, so I think the next thing we'll do is have a look at this stuff here so firstly the title uh, is a bit redundant because it's we've kind of already got a title here which will be in the PowerPoint so I think make sure you've got your report selected and come over to here to this paint roller tool which is the formatting and go down to title I'm just going to turn that off because it's useless um, we've also got a legend here um, which shows you what's what what I'm actually going to do is put, put labels here just to make it look a little bit tidier um, and to do that um, I could put a label on the bottom for the quarters but I think that's quite self-explanatory so that's a little bit uh, redundant I will put labels for the amount and the number of deals so that's on the y-axis um, and you simply so we've got y-axis column which is these the blue ones the amount and y-axis uh, line which is the currently black one so I'm gonna look for yeah title turn that on and you'll see that amount appears there go down to the line section it's a little bit long this sort of menu to have both the line and the column in there but um, I'll turn the title on there and then we've got number of deals there which makes this legend sort of redundant so we can just simply go up and close that so you see what we're doing on legend we're just going to turn that off and now you've got something that's a little bit simpler a little bit of a nicer design uh, so now we're just going to look at colors and uh, and fonts so again make sure the report is selected go to format and yeah we'll first mess with the colors so we've got these two colors like the default colors it's darker green on the line that looks kind of black to me but and then this lighter blue um, blue green color for the for the column what we're going to want is our tech.eu blues and reds uh, which are not available as we've created it from scratch it doesn't remember uh, so what I do is I've got this Trello board uh, Trello board. this one uh, where I've got the colors um, I tend to make this this kind of board just to make the process of a report a bit easier pages that need to be done pages that I'm doing uh, pages that are done and then I've got useful info here including colors so um, it's gonna be the red one first this is the exact tech.eu red um, and it's the line so data colors number of deals is the line pick that custom color paste that there enter and that is now red um, the default column is this blue color. So let's get the proper blue color. Copy that. Custom color. And there we go. So now it's looking a little, pretty much identical to what we had before. 
Um, while we're here, we'll do the font. It's a little bit small and it's grey. So that's not in keeping with the rest. If you look at this one here, this is actually a 13 point font and it's in black. So it's a bit more readable. Um, so again, make sure the report selected. Go to formatting and the fonts are in each of the axis. So we're going to in the x axis, that's right up here at the top. First thing is the color is gray. Change that to black. And then the text size 13. So you can play with this little slider here if you want. I know what I want. I want 13. So that's 24. 13. And it's a little bit more legible, but not too big that it kind of bunches up together. And we're going to do the same thing on the y axis. On uh, So here we've got the color is gray. I'm going to make that black. Put that to 13 and you'll find that it does it automatically here as well because it applies to both. Um, so that's it. The only other thing I think we'll do is if you look here, this uh, number of deals line, um, the lowest value is two. So it starts here at two on the Y axis on the right. Uh, I know it's a bit ugly. That doesn't really represent two for me to be right down at the bottom. So again, make sure it's selected. Bring up the y-axis and I've got these two two parts of the y-axis, the column part and the line part. Um, what we're going to do is, is this is this is the line value. Uh, ah, here we go. So start by default, it's just the lowest value. Um, I set to zero. There we go. So then that's two there. And it just visually is a, a little bit more easy to take in, I think. So that is how you put together a chart uh, from scratch. That is now identical to the uh, to the one I deleted earlier. Um, I'll just go through some of these ones. This is exactly the same. This is funding by month. Again, using a using a report, uh, an industry specific report uh, for VR um, as a template. This one is funding by month. It's literally the same except date. Here you'll see there's date instead of quarter. So there's obviously more, more columns, more line uh, variations, um, but it's basically the same thing as the previous one. Funding by stage, a bit different, different type of chart here. You'll see that is a uh, stacked column chart, um, but the concept is a bit simpler. You just drag the quarter in as you would previously on the axis. Um, Keep the legend there, so that's on. And you can actually change the colors, of course. So you want them to be quite distinct, so they're visible. Um, so you can see what these things represent. And the value is just number of deals. Um, and the legend is the type of round. Um, do that any way you like. Um, that's the way I've done it here. I say use that as a template if it's easier for you, but it's literally the same concept, just dragging the values to where you want them. Filter by quarter. Here you'll see a couple of the rounds we just don't know what they are, so they're blank. Um, I mean, you, you want to pay attention to that because you, you've probably just got some missing data in your spreadsheet, which you just go and, and, and fill in and that won't appear if you refresh it. Um, but I don't really want something that's going to show up as blank. It's going to look a bit odd. Um, so I've just excluded that in the filter. If you want to exclude something, you can just like right click it in the chart and just click exclude. I'm not going to do it, but that'll exclude that like series B there. Um, so you could do it that way. Uh, funding by size of investment, that is a different chart again. That is a clustered chart, I think that's called, yeah, clustered column chart, uh, where we're, each of these columns is representing a quarter. Again, keep the, keep the legend on change the colors um, a uh, another video will show you how to group this data um, if you notice I've got a b c d e f that's the only way to get it um, organized in that way unless you're unless you can work out all the all the more sort of involved coding of power bi which uh, is a bit beyond my abilities uh, yeah you notice I've make the legend the legend a little bit smaller um, than the than the labels here but again, same concept. The amount there is going in the axis. The these groups, the quarter is the legend, 
and the value is the number of deals um, again excluded uh, some blank data where we don't have it and in fact that's just a carry on from the previous from the previous page in fact where I duplicated it uh, that's not actually relevant I could delete that and nothing really changes drop down a bit but um, that's not relevant to this the, the type of round so be careful of that be careful of duplicating pages and, and carrying across filters that are going to apply to the next one for no reason uh, funding by country is like super simple because you've just got this one field here uh, number of deals and uh, with two fields I suppose technically number of fields <coughs> number of deals sorry and countries um, and then here I've actually just put, kept the data labels on because it's a bit more simple I kept the data labels turn them off these disappear um, if I kept them on for something a bit more involved like funding by quarter where we've got number of deals and amount looks a bit busy not very well designed a bit harder to work out what's what so in this one I've decided to keep it you could choose not to because it's fairly self-explanatory here you've it's not hard to work out what that means but here I've kept it on uh, funding by vertical like literally identical really except instead of quarter we've got VR type it's still filtered by quarter uh, to make sure we're not getting data from a quarter that we're not actually analyzing at the moment um, but it's not actually in the chart itself it's not that field's not in any of these uh, columns or lines here but the concept is exactly the same this again very similar it's just the horizontal uh, clustered bar chart <coughs> it's not really clustered it's just uh, there's only got the one value in you could add more um, so an interesting point on this one is I've actually done a bit more of a advanced filter so uh, so these are the IDs of the companies um, well, I've done here is this top n filter, not basic filtering, which will give us what we had before, but this top n filtering. You can do the top or the bottom, probably going to want the top. Uh, and 10 tends to work out nicely. And bring in the value. So this is the top 10 companies by amount. And you just apply that filter, and that's what you get there. Um, again, the filter for the quarter is still on. We don't have the quarter on this chart, uh, but that filter must stay there. Uh, top investors, same same deal, just the horizontal chart. These investors need to be broken up. Uh, that's why I explained that uh, that other data set I've got that's investors here, this one in yellow. Um, that's what this chart's made with. Um, that's done because, yeah, as I said, it's broken up and all the amounts change and it's not very useful. Uh, for doing other things, so it has to be its own data set. There's a video that shows you how to do that as well. Exits by quarter, exactly the same as uh, funding by quarter, just not as much data. Exits by location, again, this is just a very simple uh, horizontal chart um, where you've got the country here, number of deals here. Um, again, filtered by quarter. Um, and what else? Exits by vertical, yeah, same deal, just by VR type rather than quarter. Um, and then top exits um, is just one, two, three, four companies here. Um, I didn't need to do the top, we've only got four uh, companies here that actually have uh, that actually have data there, so that wasn't too difficult. I didn't need the didn't need to filter it by top 10 but you know generally you, you would need to do that so that's all the different types of charts and the little the little different things you might have to do with the filters and and how to create a chart in power bi from scratch